Alrighty folks, got a new electronics project for you here. Uh, we're just here on the bench uh, running some tests and uh, thought we would do a quick video uh, show you guys what it is that I've got going on here. So this um, is a new design uh, that I have made for a battery monitor and I got some PCBs uh, made there just last week. I was away last week and they turned up and uh, I put one of them together and much to my surprise the thing actually worked first time. Uh, so what we have essentially is an Atmega microprocessor um, a MCP2515 CAN controller, a Texas Instruments SN65 series transceiver. We've had analog devices, if I can get in here, I don't know if it's going to want to focus for me. ADS1115 16 bit analog to digital differential um, uh, converter, and we've a LEM uh, current sensor and a voltage sensing uh, circuit here. So what all of this does is it monitors the current and the voltage and ultimately also up here we have the ability to monitor the temperature um, of a battery anything from 0 to 500 volts and plus and minus 600 amps of current flow and hopefully do that quite accurately. Uh, so the data that is collected by this card is at the minute being transmitted by CAN bus uh, to a receiver and that receiver is all the way we follow this cable over here um, goes to a little display board uh, this is something else that I had um, designed a while ago. I have another one here. There we go. So this is a very simple little design again uh, based around an Atmega328 um, processor and it just uh, displays CAN bus data uh, on a 20 by 4 LCD screen and that's what we're doing at the minute here um, we're just using some power supplies to simulate uh, a battery we've got about 30 volts going in um, as you can see at the minute here so don't mind the temperature reading I just uh, don't have a I don't have a um, thermistor connected to it at the minute and perfect timing there goes this pain in the butt blood pressure monitor thing that i have myself hooked up to. So let's see how i'm doing oh dear get on the high side okay so my left arm is now not much use uh perfect timing so as we saw here <clears throat> Oh, left arm not working. Oh, oh, there it is. Uh, we have some extra turns going through the uh, current sensor here. There's 12 turns of wire. This just lets me <coughs> simulate um, higher currents going through a single conductor. Uh, so right now we've got our power supply. If we turn it on here. Um, let me see. So 3 amps. But because we're now multiplying that by 12 turns here uh, for simulation purposes, it'll be about 36 amps. And indeed, we see here on the screen, uh, we're seeing precisely 36 amps. Um, so we've got voltage, current, power, uh, battery capacity. And a little graphic here now I have shamelessly ripped off this uh, software for the LCD and the the amp hour calculation uh, from a post over on uh, the EcoModder forum um, I did have another uh, 
kind of a version here that I put together myself when I saw this. Uh, I was very impressed with it. So this uh, is going to become our kind of de facto battery uh, mo monitoring system. Um, it's nice and simple to use and hopefully I think with the 16-bit differential um, ADC that I have on that board over there uh, we're going to do away with the temperature drift that is inherent in the um, the uh, Hall effect uh, sensors because uh, that's one of their big drawbacks um, and what we did here was rather than using a single ended um, reading just from the output wire here let me see it a little bit better here on this bare PCB uh, we've taken a differential reading between output and the reference uh, output there uh, so that should eliminate the thermal drift issue uh, with that Hall effect sensor and here in our voltage measuring uh, system we're also using a differential measurement uh, from the isolation amplifier so again we'll see now when we put this in a car uh, how it actually works and the last piece of the puzzle then uh, this little guy is going to pull him out of here I was doing some experiments with this this is a little uh, Bluetooth module and that can connect here um, to this pin header and will give us a Bluetooth uh, transmission uh, capability from this module as well so the software is not great at the minute I'm not really fantastic at it but I have a working version um, and uh, we'll get this in the car fairly soon but just thought I'd show you guys have a little look at it and um, yeah I'm not really able to do much because of this uh, health issues I'm having at the minute um, so I'll be back on to uh, working on the cars uh, once I get this stuff sorted out but anyway just thought we'd show you guys this stuff um, I'll put a link in the description to my uh, github page uh, where you can see all the files and so on there I do have some of these built um, and some spare PCBs if anyone's interested Alright guys, so uh, thanks for tuning in, uh, a little bit of electronics for you here today. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, and uh, we'll see you all next time, and happy drifting.